Broadway music. Oh, it just feels right to have Gretchen Jensen sitting on set with Brienne and I. This was how many years ago that this is exactly how it looked just on Good Things She Talked. Just, just like, a little bit. Just a decade. Though. I love that we were able to chat with the you in the The fact that you were, you're now 34, I was like, oh. <sighs> She was like 22. She was like our little sister, right? I, was, I know. I was, I was so, now I feel like I've grown up a little bit, you know, I in know. some time. No. Gretchen, <laughs> I have to first of all point out this lovely white, you're glowing today, and there's a oh, reason thank you. you are glowing. Well, can I tell you that we share so many things with our viewers, and mm. um, I write this, you're our friends, and we talk yeah. about what we're going mm -hmm. through on the show, and Gretchen filled in back in January and shared something with me that you'd not shared with a lot of people. And now you're ready to do that and let our viewers into what you've been going through for the last six months. I told Nisha um, back in January, I said, I will, I will not share this publicly, and I had a reason. But when I do, I want to share it not only with my dear friends, but with my family. Uh, sorry, GTU. And I was uh, diagnosed with cancer in January. And I said to you, Nisha, you wait, I'll be back, but I won't come back till it's all over. And um, so what happened is, the reason why I want to share this is, I, I started bleeding. I was um, in Tulsa at the 70th anniversary of Miss USA, and I was like, what the heck am I having a period? You know, <laughs> I'm 57 years old, what's happening? But I thought, I'm going back for my well check, you know, next month, and mm, it'll be fine. So I went in and I said, I, I started bleeding, and, and she said, well, you know, that's a sign of, of uterus cancer after you've been through menopause. And I was like, not me, right. I'm completely healthy, you know. And so they did a, an ultrasound and there was a mass and then they had me come back and did a biopsy. And, um, you know, the whole time I'm like, well, there's just no way, I'm so healthy, I work out all the but time. But you are one of the healthiest eaters. You work out, yeah. like you said, she, her yeah. lifestyle is so healthy. So. And I didn't even think two thoughts about it. And then the phone call comes and it was, okay, it's just very matter of fact, it's just interesting. And I feel for those doctors that have to make those calls, but it was, yes, you have cancer and um, you need to look on your insurance and find a surgeon because you need to have a, um, emergency surgery. Your life changes in a second. The first thing in my head was, how do I tell my kids? Um, it wasn't about me, it was how do I tell my kids? And how do I let them know I need them to come over without freaking out? So I sent a text out, I said, I just need y'all to come over tonight. I just need everybody to be together. Well, then the questions were firing back. Bailey was like, what's wrong? What's wrong, what's wrong, you know? Carver was at work and he took his work break off and they came home and I just, I just said, I'm, guys, I'm gonna share something with you, but it isn't, it, it, it's not the sentence. We're not talking about a sentence here. We're just talking about something that I'm gonna go through and we're gonna do it together. And I said, mom has cancer. That was, the worst part of it, because to see my big, strong boys melt, but try to be strong, but then their kids too. And as they went around, Bailey was the cheerleader, you know, you can do this, mom, you can do this. And then um, Cade just came up with just the biggest hug and Cutler was the same way. And, and so, <clears throat> you know, as, as it evolved and as I had surgery, that's the first day of chemo right there. Were um, you scared, Gretchen? I mean, you've interviewed people on the show <clears throat> that have had yeah. cancer. We've talked about, I mean, you, it's touched your life and now it's you. I, you know, here's the difference. That's my dad with my wig on, oh. y'all. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? So cute. Um, I did a cold cap therapy. That's what you're seeing right there. And that is to, to help preserve as much hair as possible. I knew I was going to lose hair. And I knew that getting out ahead of it, meaning um, preparing myself for what was going to happen, would be helpful to me. So I knew the hair was going to go. So what did I do? I got a wig. And you got a fabulous I wig. I got a wig, y'all. I call her Tina. I can't believe and it how looks so incredible. incredible. So every time I've been on the show with this hair, I've had cancer, and it's been my wig. But, you know, I didn't want to go through the feelings of, uh, uh, it's all about my hair. It isn't about my hair. It's never about the hair. And so for anybody going through this, it grows back. I shaved my legs for the first time this week and wow. I was like, woohoo! Gretchen, know? how come you didn't necessarily tell and want the support of, or, you know, what was your reasoning? Because I think yeah. when I found out, I said, I'm, I'm so sad that you've been struggling for so long and I didn't know. And you had such a powerful answer. You said, yeah. I haven't been struggling. I've no. been okay and no. I'm doing good, but I want to hear your brother. thought process. I, you know, when I first found out and I called my mom and dad there in Texas, I said, don't feel sorry for me. When Jesus saw those that were sick, he saw them in their wellness and that's how he healed them. So don't see me in my sickness, see me in my wellness. So I didn't want 
everyone to know, oh, Gretchen's so sick because they would focus on my sickness. So I only told very few people because I, I only wanted people to see me just the way I am. So I want you to pause right there because this is a powerful story, how you have healed over the last six months and where you are today. And Gretchen said she would share that with the, all of us when we come back. Welcome back everyone. We are here with our great friend Gretchen Jensen and if you are just joining us she let us know that she was diagnosed with cancer in January and has been sharing her story with us and in this next segment we want to be able to highlight how you have handled this, what you have done and let's start out with talking about the chemo and going yeah. in for chemo. What yeah. was that like? And you was know, it terrifying? Um, the word chemo itself is it's just a vague topic and all you can picture is what you've known from either people that have been through it. And I, I just made up my mind, like, I'm not gonna read about side effects. I don't wanna hear stories about what people went through with chemo. I just don't wanna do that, you know? And so Bailey went with me my first day and I had a room to myself and it was about eight and a half hours worth of treatment. Honestly, y'all, it was one of the best days of my life. Wait, I had eight hours with my daughter of just she and I in a room and we laughed and we cried and she helped me with the cold cap, you know. So um, I just, I, and I talked and then, and then Cade, my son, went with me on another one. Um, and there's dad again. But um, you know, I, I was sharing with y'all, I talked to the chemo in my body. And I said, you do what you need to do. You're not my enemy, you're my friend. You're gonna make wow. me better. And I even talked to the cancer that way. I, I call those I love, sweetie this morning. Happy birthday, sweetie. I talked to myself that way. Sweetie, you're, you're good. You're good, you know. I'd get up and, and, and feel kind of sick, and I'd be like, you got this, sweetie, you got it. And I'd talk to myself. i talked to the cells in my body, and I'd say, you guys know exactly what you need to do. Just do it. I'm out of the, I'm getting out of the way. I'm not going to, I'm not going to predispose a situation that doesn't need to happen. And my cancer itself was a cancer that doesn't affect people like me. It's women in their seventies that have never had children and are diabetic and, and severely overweight. And so they were like, where did this come from? But the, the cell growth of my cancer was aggressive. So that's why everything happened super fast. And so, um, as far as my children, I learned, you know, one child wasn't good going to the hospital, but she was really good at going to the grocery store and getting things for me. Oh, yeah. And one child wasn't good going to doctor's visit, but he was really good at making sure I had water and I was taking my medications. And then the other, you know, it, it just, it was interesting how they all took on a role. And, and, and I never, ever let them feel that this was a scary thing. What is a con was it a conscious decision and thought for you? I will not allow negativity in, Absolutely. And did it help? Oh, I healed myself along with a really great team of doctors, yes. But you know what? I was very conscious, Nisha, of talking to myself all the time, giving myself a break, not trying to go, why do I have cancer? Why is this happening to me? It was, okay, this is a moment in my time, and you know what? I'm going to make the best out of it. And I, I grew, my, my parents couldn't come up, they're in Texas. Um, and so, you know, checking in with them, I would just be like, before we get going, I don't want to hear poor you. I wish I was, I don't want to hear it. I just want everyone to just continue with life and see me as I am. And so I went to the gym for the first time this week since, since I was diagnosed and had treatment. And no one knew. They were like, you just cut your hair. And I go, yes, I did. You can have it too. I can take it off and show you, you know. <laughs> um, but even, even something like Hairs for a Women, you know, it, it kind of pulls you back to what, what defines us? How did it change you? How are you different? I now know that I can do anything with my mind. Wow. I now know that there's not one thing that I can't do. Um, and I now know that every part of me is worth loving. That, you know, cancer isn't a terrible, awful thing. I never talked to cancer like, I hate you and I'm going to beat you and I'm going to kick your butt. And I'm, it wasn't that way. It was, I give you permission to leave. You can go. You can go now. I think I'm good. And the whole time I saw myself whole and healthy. Whole and healthy, whole and healthy. Speaking and I said, of whole and healthy, where are you now? Um, I just had a PET scan last week. I finished radiation a week before that. My oncologist told me last Wednesday that I'm in remission. And I it's told I told Nisha, I said, I'm not the coming back until I'm done. And I wanted so much, you know, cancer, that's ringing the bell. If you know anything about chemo or radiation, when you're done with your treatment, it's a victory bell that you ring. Wow. Um, and I was so emotional at that time, and that's radiation there. Um, 
and no one's there, you know. I, I, my, my daughter was there, but for radiation, honestly, radiation was, I, I've had pelvic exams worse than that. <laughs> it, was not, <laughs> it was not that bad, but, but you know, I had a really great team and I kept it to myself as far as I didn't want them to feel like they weren't valuable and worthy. Obviously, their, their experience and what they do saved my life, I know that. It's a team. But I helped be a part of that. And I think, you know, I tell my kids, if you focus, if you focus on what you don't want, you just get more of it. And, you know, it took me seven months to get healed, but I am, I am, you know? And, and I'm healthy and my body is strong. And I, I go to the gym now and I'm like, I love you muscles and look what we've done. You know, or I love you tendons and bloodstream and uh, my skin. You know, I'm like, it's all me. It's all me. But look how powerful you were. Yeah. It's a completely different mindset. I've watched you do this over the last several you years have, before yeah. the cancer diagnosis. Starting were, with the manifesting. Yes, and the manifesting. She, and the yes. And there were so many the times on GTU that I wanted, when we were talking about manifesting, I wanted to say, uh, and then I knew I was waiting. Thank you for sharing it now. Thank you guys. Thank you for Thank sharing you. it with our viewers and Thank your you inspiring story for everyone out there that is going through something because everybody is. The power of thought and the power of positivity. Yeah. We love you yeah. and your family. Thank you. We're so glad you're, you're so wonderful. Happy We're birthday. so happy for you. Thank you, God.